Hey you guys, it's your girl, Shan Shan Sims, but now I'm known as Shanverse. And also, if you're wondering what the Shan is short for, my name is just Shannon. Um, I'm going to be start streaming soon, so um, I'm going to have a mixture of my regular Instagram name into Shanvers. So, I'm going to do it like that. I'm not really sure yet. I want to change my logo and stuff. So, I'll probably do that myself or I'm going to pay somebody to do it. Because I don't know. But, welcome back to my channel. And, I know it's been a while since I did a tutorial. But, you know, I'm back and I'm better. And, we're going to get started on doing a tutorial on how to sculpt clothes in Blender. So, um, two years ago, I did a tutorial. Well, that was my last. That was my first and last tutorial I did. But now I have a new headset and mic, so I think y'all can hear me clearly now. So I want to get back into YouTube and I want to start my Twitch and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. So um, today we're going to find some outfit outfit inspo for my render. But this is going, that's going to be, I'm going to do that separately, how I render and how, what settings I use and all that good stuff. Because I've changed like a whole lot and learned so much since two years ago. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to go to Pinterest. And I'm going to go to my profile, Shanverse. You can follow me on Pinterest under Shanvers. Um and I've been saving some dumps or well, some picture ideas for some dumps that I want to do and <clears throat> uh, I think I want to do something like this or I want to do something like gene like i think yeah we're gonna do something gene like so we're gonna do it that way so if you're wondering what this little box is in the corner it's called pure ref this one right here and it helps keep images in the corner and stay on screen like if you need and if you want to keep looking back at your inspo without having to exit out of it. Hmm, I wonder if we got outfits like that. I am not sure. Um, my girl Sydney, I gave her a boyfriend. So, I'm gonna copy the image. You could just paste it. And it's just gonna be there. So this is my outfit inspo. And I'm gonna close out Pinterest. I'm gonna go to Blender. So I now use Blender 3.3.9. I think that still is going to update like with the other ones, but I really like Blender 3.3 for my laptop. Um, I haven't really tried the other ones yet, so that's just my preference. You can look on the Blender website and you can get the installation file if you want it and all that good stuff. All right, so. Let's get started before I even started the tutorial. I mean, yeah, before I even wanted to start the video to do the tutorial, I had dressed my girl in some swimwear because usually she's naked when I dress her in Blender. So I didn't want her to be naked so I won't get flagged. So last time y'all seen Sydney was in my Blender animation tutorial. And she's have changed so much since then. Like she sculpted now. And got gave her a sculpted body. So yeah, gave her new tattoos. I think I changed all her tattoos. I'm not really sure if I remember everything, but I did her did most of her tattoos and most of them, some creators that did them. So yeah. So first, gonna have Blender. We're gonna minimize that. And we're gonna go to Sims 4 Studio. And I think I seen what picture I wanted to use 
for well not what picture like what uh creator I want to use and my my stuff is organized by creator and I know I want to use Slate Classy because I think she had some new jean stuff that I had like yeah I'm gonna use this and we're gonna dress it so I think it was this it'll be looking so different when it's not in blender or when they do their renders um I think I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna do the jean just don't know how dark or light I want it yeah we're gonna go with the second one so I use blender 3.3 and I have it connected to my sims 4 studio so now all I have to do is export the mesh so I like that better because I don't have to import the texture every time and you can just save it and I'll show you when I import it into blender what it looks like so the last time I didn't really know too much about you know I knew a little bit I was just getting started on blender but I didn't know too much and I want to find the pants so I didn't really know too much but I have like learned a whole lot um, I have to get back creating because I used to be creating all the time and I haven't done anything recently because life has been lifing and yeah that's just how it goes you know when you think you're about to do something and then life hits you like no you're not I think this was the color I did if not we'll go back into it but just exporting the mesh because we don't have to do the texture since my Blender and Sims 4 Studio is connected and I'm using the beta version of the Sims 4 Studio where you can use up to Blender 3.6 and but you can still use lower blenders like I'm using right now. So that comes in handy. And if you like to want to create and stuff, it's real good because you ain't got to go back to 2.7 and use that blender to use it. All right. Okay, I can exit out of that. Go back into Blender. We're going to go to File and we're going to Append since it is a blend file. We're going to go to Bottom 2. I'm going to pin the object. I'm going to do the student for Studio Mesh. Alright, and it usually comes like this when you're in Blender. So, you can delete the bone. And the original rig it came with um, okay and then I'm gonna do the top later but I'm gonna do the pants first okay yep. all right so when I usually sculpt on my clothes on my sim I usually try to remove the sims 4 base mesh off of the clothing if it's visible so you could click L and it's going to select the front of the so you won't have to select one by one. You could click L again and L and it's going to select all for that part that you want to delete. You want to hit X, you want to delete the faces. And that's that part. And then you go to object mode, back to object mode, or you can hit tab. And then I'm going to the sculpting part so I can sculpt it on all right so when I usually sculpt I use the elastic deform part uh, sometimes I use grab but that's like it doesn't really move for me like I want to so I use elastic deform so once you lose elastic deform you can change the radius by pressing F and change the size and if you want to change the strength you can but Sometimes you don't want it too strong where it's going to mess up the mesh. So I say the middle of 0.500 is perfect. I usually use symmetry. So I usually symmetry, symmetry in the x-axis. So whatever I do on one side, it does it on the other without me having to do both. So all you have to do is select and move the pants out so it can be visible on the skin. 
and if you move her to back more of it moves so this is kind of hard only because i got these <laughs> bikini bottoms in my way and it don't have to go out that far you see i ain't got it close i was just putting it on so she wouldn't be naked so you just select and you grab and then you can select and grab again select and grab again you can move down further so you won't be so close and I don't think I had to move that far but I can fix it later and then you can select and grab and it's just the same way you can do it on the back and if you want to get it smaller you can just zoom in and do it like that select one bring it back to the front facing all right that's how you do the pants and go back to I just go back to tab when I edit mode. Go just back to object mode, and then you can I can delete the bikini bottoms, and I'm gonna sculpt some more, so you know won't be out. <laughs> and gonna fix the back. Yep, I like the elastic deep one tool just because it is. See how easy it is. And you just sculpt. And I fix the top part because it's too loose around her waist. Just bring that in, select and bring it in. And then if you want to do that part, you can. I like to be perfect, so that's just me. Right. See, the butt actually is big, so I can leave that alone. But I don't want it to be too loose around her waist. So I'm trying to bring it in. Alright, that's the best I can do right now. And that's for the pants. I'm going to go back to object mode. And you got to make sure you attach it to the rig. I'm going to move this image over. So put it over here. So you go back to, I'm sorry, is it? It's a modifier properties. Yeah, modifier properties. You see the object. You select the rig. And I named the rig after my sim name. And I'm going to rename this pants for the sake of it. And then I'm going to hold shift and move it to parent to the rig so when i move the rig oh did i do it right and then yeah so it can shift and hold and you let go <laughs> once you get over there so when the rig moves the, everything moves so yeah Oop. but yeah you get my point i didn't break the bikini top but yep you get the point of it then nope not going to delete that yet then we're going to go back and we're going to pin again. <clears throat> and we're going to go up in the top this time. And go back to object. Subsource Studio Mesh. And I did not pick the right gene. So, no. I didn't. And that's fine. We'll fix it. I'm gonna hold G to grab and Z so it will go down straight. And I'm trying to line it up with the rig a little bit so when I sculpt it won't be too off. Then after that, going back into select, make sure we got the studio mesh selected, hit tab, go into edit mode. We gotta delete the base mesh. Going ahead and select L. Like L, and if you want us like to have a see-through mode, 
that you can select this button next to the wireframe and it's called toggle I think it's toggle display I think that's what it is and you can able to see between the mesh so you can select the right thing go back to one I'm going to exit and go do the faces I'm going to go back to object mode with one click tab oh, I still see some studio mesh so my tab again make sure we select it all turn off the x-ray mode hit x for the faces go back to object mode okay and I'm gonna try to move it so I can line it up because I think it's too far so go ahead G and go to the y-axis I'm gonna move it like that so it can be closer and I still see studio mesh <laughs> go back to tab again make sure we get all of that out of there X and hit the faces. I'm sorry, did I delete something? Yep, delete half the mesh. Okay. Hit shift to select so you can keep selecting without it deselecting. Then hit X again, hit the faces. Going back to object mode and we're going to scope. I'm going to move this picture back over right here so it won't be in the way. Got the last V form on. And I got my radius on. Get into our number and it'll lower. Then we're going to do the symmetry again. Do one on the x axis. So it could be symmetric. So I won't ever I do it on one side, I'll do it on the other, but I'm going to do both. Then you just select and you hold and you grab it. Then you do it again. Hit one, go back to the front facing view. Zoom in so I won't select so much. Not so the shirt is covering everything in the front. So I don't want to expose her boobs and then her boobs out. <laughs> Honestly. It should be covering it by now, but I'm going to zoom out just so I can be able to see. Okay. Zoom in a bit. Okay, good. It's not too far. It's not too much out. I don't want them flagging me for nudity. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, hit one front face. Fix the underarm part. And since, say, I got a little waist, I can. Pull it in a little bit, pull it back out. So I want her skin to show. Okay. 
Make sure I ain't seeing no type of skin. Okay. Control C. I'm gonna change the texture because this don't match for me. Go back to object mode. Gonna make sure I go to the modifiers tab and make sure I select the rig so it'll be attached to the rig and put the top. And we're gonna hold. Oh, don't start freezing on me now. Uh, my blender is freezing. Just gonna wait a few. Gonna hold shift. Gonna parent to the rig. And now it's parent. All right. Let's go back to minimize this and go back to some sort of studio. Back to the R letter top. And um, I think I'm gonna go. Let me see. Maybe it's not supposed to match. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the third texture now. I'm gonna export the texture. I'm gonna go to downloads and we're gonna just put top for the texture. I'm gonna exit out and we can exit out of this. Go back to Blender and I'm gonna select on the object. I'm gonna go to the shading tab, hit one to see the front face, and zoom in. Change my window to shader editor. And you see, I didn't have to apply the textures already on there. And we're going to go, we're going to exit out. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to go to downloads. Top. And still kind of off to me, but I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'll take it this time. And go make sure the pants the right color. Yep. All right, and that is the basics of how you dress in Blender. I'm still going to show you how to append the nails and all that good stuff. So, oh yeah, we can delete the bikini top now. We don't need it no more. Next, we're going to find some nails to a pen. And I think I want some Frenchies, so that's going to be easy to find. And... Yeah, I'm gonna do some Frenchies. Uh...
do the white this time append object white Frenchies and for my sim since she's a sculpted sim and she's like a little bit shorter than everyone I have to actually manually append the nails to, exactly to her skin so it'll it'll work so I'm gonna show you how to do that so I'm gonna select the nails we're gonna go to tab and to edit mode we're gonna select the x-ray I call it the x-ray <laughs> toggle mode and we're gonna select it so we can see both sides of the nail and we're gonna be for box select and we're gonna select over the nail and we're gonna hold G and we're gonna move it to the Y axis over the top of the nail it's not so oh hold on gonna control Z since I didn't know two nails were selected I'm gonna box select again so we're gonna have one nail selected we're going to hold G and we're going to go on the Y axis to move it over top of the nail. And I'm going to go to, going to go to hit three and then nine. It's going to show me the other side. And then we are going to hold G again. We're going to hold Z to go down. Then hold G and then go to X and put it over top. And gonna R to rotate it a little bit and G and the bot move it a little Y and it's not all the way on there but it's close and wanna hit G and go Z so it's on there and that's how it looks so I gotta do each finger so I'm gonna fast forward this part
All right, and I'm back. We'll go to object mode. And that's how they look. I appended them. And I box select to move them onto her fingers. All right, I'm going to select one, the front face. And I'm going to go to the modifiers tab and do the same thing. <laughs> and use the armature to object to rig. I'm going to select and I'm going to parent, shift, shift select, parent to the rig. All right. Um, thinking about giving her some heels. I don't know what kind of heels. And I know some of y'all probably like, well, how do you put on heels? And her feet is not sculpted for real. Well, I ain't gonna say sculpted, but they not they not made for the heel right now. Just seeing a mistake I made. All right. Okay. And go back to go back minimize. Go back to Sim Source Studio. At this point, I should have just minimized Sim Source Studio. I was gonna keep going back to it. All right, our projects. Um, I think I'm gonna use complex heels. I think that's what heels I want to use for this outfit. Oh, one past complex. Um, do I remember what the heels is called? Do I? <laughs> Let me see. Put heels and then they pop up. I don't remember what them heels is called. <laughs> All right, we ain't gonna use his heels because I can't think of the heel name right now. And don't ask me how I be remembering stuff. Because I like picture outfit in my head. And I can remember like which creator made it. I don't know. That's just my mind though. I be thinking like that. Now I know Runner Up got some heels. But I don't remember the heels I want to use. Like, I just want to use a simple heel at this point. You know what? I can use these. Alright, same thing for the heel. If you got your Sims 4 Studio connected to your Blender, you can just export the mesh. Go download, name it, whatever you want to name it, but I'm going to name it Heels. I'm gonna minimize it this time. I might need it again. All right, so I'm gonna hold a file. I'm gonna to go to pen, and I'm gonna to go to download to where we saved it, and append the heels into the Blender file. All right, gonna delete the bone thing and the other rig, so I won't get confused. I'm going to go down to the feet, and since I'm not going to be showing her thing, we're just going to put H to hide it real fast. And you're going to select on your sculpted model or your sim. And since I know these ain't going to be showing, I can delete these. Hit X to delete, X to delete again. 
Um, it's got toenails on the feet, so I'm going to X and delete these toenails. I'm going to go to tab to go into edit mode and x-ray mode so you can see both sides okay let's beat box b for box select and box select the feet out and then just hit x and delete the faces and now you see the other feet that goes with the shoe so i'm gonna show y'all how to change your skin to the foot so it won't look crazy all right and I'm gonna find the pants again. Oh, that's why. And the top. There's the the pants. I did it. No, can't use it yet. Okay. Okay, for the pants, and then you're just gonna wanna go into edit mode for the feet, and we're gonna get out of X-ray mode for this part real fast. So we can select what we need. So we're going to select the feet so we can change the skin to our skin of the R sim. Hit L to select. Make sure you select almost everything so you can change it. And do the same thing for the other foot. All right, and our foot is selected, and we leave in the toenails alone, so we can have polish on our feet. And we're gonna go P to separate, and separate the selection. All right, go back to object mode real fast, and you're gonna go to where you separated the mesh. You're gonna go to that mesh. We're gonna go, go to material properties, and we're going to minus this one. And then we're going to find whatever our skin is saved as. And skin. And there you go. And now your feet has the same skin as your sim. And then even though you can't see. I mean if you want to join it back you can. So just select on the first studio mesh. And you select back on the mesh that you separated. Select them both by hit, holding shift. And then you just hit control J. And that's going to join it back together. And we're going to put name this as heels. And we're going to sculpt this so it can match her legs, even though you can't see it. But I'm still going to show you just in case you like wearing a skirt or something one time or whatever. So hit X for symmetry. So it's going to do the same thing on one foot, foot as the other. So you want to do it on both. I'm going to use the elastic tool so we can pull it, the skin out so it can match up with her leg. Or your sim leg. Don't matter. Go back to one. Fix it a little bit. So it won't be too off. And that is it for that. Go back to object mode. We're going to parent. Or we're going to go to the modifiers tab. We want to put the object to our rig. Then we're going to hold shift again. To parent to our rig. And to object mode. Go to the pants and unhide them. And that is how they look. And you're going to one. That's how that that's how you do that. And you're going to move it up. Well, I like to move it up so it can be aligned to the zero. Alright. Next I'm gonna show you how to add hair to your skim. Mm, your skim. <laughs> your sim skin and how to append the hair um i don't know which hair i want for this um, gonna save it just to make sure nothing breaks or nothing like that so i'm just gonna go back and let's see what hair do we want to use i want to use one with a hair oh i think i know i know which one i'm going to use for this video i might not end up using the hair period though um i 
gonna go. I wanna use a Kiko hair. I wanna use the afro. All right, and I think I want to use. Yeah, I'm just going to use black. And it's time. We have to export the texture so we can add the hair base on our sim skin. I'm going to use this and put this as hair base. Put a PNG. That's going to save. You can minimize that if you want to. Go to message, meshes and export the mesh for the hair. Going to do that later, but I'm going to do it now. Just name it hair. Save it. Should have used straight hair, but we just trying to try to use some hair. But it's all right. It's saved. We can minimize that one too. Minimize some for studio, and we're gonna go to where you have your sim skin saved, and you wanna find it. And gonna go to textures. And I'm going to open this in GIMP to add my hair base and my makeup too. And I'm going to show you that because I'm going to just do it all at this one time. All right. I usually have my makeup saved because see, it has a certain makeup look that I usually like. I don't really like too many people makeup on her, but I like Kiko's makeup. So I use UK Batty 5 usually for said base i usually like that one so i'm going to add her blush and makeup i'm going to add a different lippy for her no i don't want that one go on, do that one and i usually like you know what i'll leave it low do it like that you can zoom in but i like it like this now we're going to go to downloads and where we save the hair base you want to just drag and drop <laughs> and you see the hair base is too big for this so we got to make it smaller to fit on there so we're going to scale it 2048 by 4096 or sometimes they do it for you you just hit scale and then you move it so it can perfectly fit on over the skin and I'm going to zoom in just to make sure it's lined up perfectly so there won't be no mess ups. And I'm going to zoom back out. And then I'm going to save this as something. So I'm going to export it as, uh, going to use it a different number. Should have put for a tutorial, but it's fine. Just gonna export that PNG. Gonna go, go minimize this back to Blender. Minimize that. Gonna select your sim or your sculpted sim. If you're dressing with your sculpt, go move this over so it won't be in the way. And you wanna exit out to reset the texture. And you're going to go where you saved your texture with the hair base. You want to open the image. And that's how it looks with the hair base. Mm, I don't like this makeup, so let me change it real fast. All right, go export it over it and export again to six or whatever you saved it as. Go to minimize, minimize, and go back to Blender and do it again. Open image. Yeah, that looks better. I'm going to do it like that. 
hit one to go back to front view and now we're going to append the hair or you can do the same thing that I'll be doing just drag and drop and append go to object and go select both studio meshes and append now you still got to shade the hair as if you were shading your sim as if it was coming out of ripper even though the texture is already there so you're going to delete the rig and the bone and you're going to go to material material properties i think that's what that is right yeah material properties and you want to go well i don't like doing it this way so i'm gonna go to the shading zoom out a little bit and we're going to this over i'm going to shade it as we were shading our sim coming out of ripper so you turn your reference down you change from alpha bin to alpha hash and i use the shadow mode as alpha hash and then i just shift a to add the transparency node Transparent PSDF, select to the shader that's open, and that's it. And go back to layout and go on to join these two together. Control J, and that's it for the bush. And that is how well, well, we're gonna fix the hair sculpt it so we can move it out the clothes and if you want to you can do x but i'm gonna do it anyway elastic deform tool is my best friend we're going to export it i mean not export it we're gonna pull it out a little bit and that's that for that go to object mode and that is oh Let's make sure we do the object to the rig so once we move our sim it'll move right with it and then you can rename this hair you want to shift to drop and parent and that is how you dress your sim in blender now yeah that wasn't it's not too hard to do it once you get the gist of it but your yeah, elastic tool is your best friend. And this is how it looks. Alright, thank you for watching.